In this tutorial, you'll learn about deposition in a river. More precisely, when does a river deposit its load? So when a river slows down, it will automatically lose energy. And if a river loses energy at all, it will automatically deposit anything that it's carrying. It will deposit its load, whether it's boulders or pebbles, sand, silt, clay. So what exactly causes the river to slow down in the first place? I'm going to explain four reasons why this might happen. The first is at the river's mouth. This is where the river meets the sea and the river is naturally forced to slow down and deposit anything that it is carrying. The second reason is to do with the location on a meander. The inside bend of a meander, there is naturally a slower flow. And as the river slows down as it goes round the bend, due to friction, the river will lose energy and deposit what it's carrying. And you can see in this photograph a nice point bar or slip off slope full of deposited sediment. Now the third reason is to do with a floodplain. A floodplain is a flat area of land either side of a river channel and when the river floods the water level will rise. So let's just draw this in. And as the water rises and flows over the floodplain the friction it encounters flowing over the floodplain will cause the river to deposit anything that it's carrying. And this is because it's forced to slow down. And remember, if it slows down, it loses energy and deposits all that silt and sediment that it's transporting. And the final reason for a river to slow down is to do with if there is an obstruction in the river. This may be because there is a huge dam wall in the way or there might have been a landslide. Whatever the reason, the river is forced to slow down and if it slows down, it loses energy and deposits anything that it's carrying. 